I once heard somebody say that marketing and advertising law is pretty simple. Uh, the key principles are don't lie and don't steal other people's stuff. Um, so it's obviously a little bit more nuanced. As I mentioned at the beginning, AI is this uh, is this big thing. So how how do we navigate um, you know this uh, this I'm going to say wonderful world of artificial intelligence, but there's the good, the bad, and the ugly in any technology. I think we want to start with is deep fakes, um, and you would have seen a bit of this as an example of the Tom Cruise deep fake. <laughs> What's up, TikTok? You guys cool if I play some sports? Have a look at this, this is how the digital twin works. Hi everyone. I'm John and I'm an avatar, or what some may call a digital twin. It is great to be here today to meet you all at LegalWise. Okay, thanks, now. Back to you, Tony. Thank you. Uh, well, there you <laughs> So the idea is once you create your digital twin, um, they reckon in the future like you can set your digital twin to turn up for meetings because if it knows your personality and stuff. So all those boring meetings that you normally go to, you send your twin along and you can do the more exciting stuff. But uh, uh, it's amazing how technology is moving There's on. There's so many issues. Um, but the other issue is confidentiality. So if you are putting material into the bot, how do you keep it confidential? And that is a problem um, because as there is with all these sorts of social media platforms, there's a sort of a turn that allows them to use the content for improving their services. So there's very uh, high risk, I think, to use ChatGPT. In particular, I'm going to be talking about how the ACCC and ASIC have recently approached misleading or deceptive advertising um, or the making of false representations by various businesses in their marketing and advertising materials. 